Hey guys! Today we will have a closer look at Amalgam from Valley, a crazy stereo multi-mode signal processor with very nice features and modes. Let's start! Okay, so here it is, Amalgam from Valley. I should mention that this is a free available module. You can find a link to the Valley modules in the description. They are awesome. Go check them out. We will start with an overview and see what we are dealing with. And then we will build some patches from scratch and see this module in action. So like I've said, Amalgam is a stereo multi-mode signal processor. It has 17 different modes from different types of ring modulation, crossfader, flip-flop and more. We will go through all of the modes of course, but let's start with looking at its signal flow and all of its different features. We have two stereo inputs, X and Y, and the left input of each section is normalized to the right input. So if you're using a mono signal, it will be sent also to the right channel. We have gain control for both sections with dedicated CV inputs and attenuators. From there, each section is going to the combiner, but also to four logic gates, two for the left inputs and two for the right, and end logic, and an XOR logic. This means, for example, that whenever the left input of the X section and the left input of the Y section are above zero volts, a pulse wave will come out of the L and logic output. And let's see this quickly on the scope. So here I have LFOs. Um, let's connect two LFOs to the left input of both sections. And if I send the end logic output, to the scope, we can see we get pulse waves and we have also an XO logic output, um, which means that whenever the X section or the Y section go above zero, we get a signal from this output here. So we get even more uh, variation in pulse waves. Okay, so like I said before, the signals go also to the combiner and there is where the magic happens. We have 17 different modes and for each mode, two parameters we can modulate and control. There are also two CV inputs for the type and two for each of the parameters with dedicated attenuators, of course. So we can add offset also to the modulation and from there, the signals go to a few interesting destinations. First of all, they go to the main stereo output, the Z output, but also to another end and X or logic gates and two pulses outputs. The pulses outputs will output pulse waves derived from the Z outputs and they are an octave apart. So now because I'm using two mono channels, they will be normalized to the right channel. So both channels of the Z output will be the same. And let's have a look at the pulses outputs. So we have two different types. One is an octave apart from the other one. Now the logic outputs will again output pulse waves whenever the left and the right signals are above zero, or when the left or the right signals are above zero. All of this after the combiner on the way to the main outputs. So again, like we've seen before, both channels of the Z outputs are the same. And for using the XOR output, we will need at least one stereo signal. So every another LFO, send it to the right channel of the X section. And we have two different waves. And now I have here an end logic, which again will output pulse waves and an XOR logic. Very nice. Another really cool feature is the DC button or the direct current button, which allows us to use also slow moving signals like LFOs and pitch information even, and process them with the different mode types. So let's really start building some patches and having us some fun. Okay, so let's start with the first four modes, the ring modulation modes. I have here four slick oscillators from animated circuits, but they all have the same pitch. So let's use the Turing machine. This will be our sequencer. We will add also quantum to quantize the signal to a scale. Let's use D, G, and B flat. We will use a multiplied clock to run the Turing machine, every clock multiplied by four. Let's turn on also the opacity for the cables. 
and I want to send different pitch information to the oscillator so let's use also the shift register also from ML now the shift register is actually a sample and hold unit sampling the incoming signal but also shifts it through its eight outputs so we will get actually eight different sequences so let's send the Turing machine to quantum let's lower the scale also a bit and from there to the shift register now the shift register needs a trigger so it will know when to sample the signal and we will use one of the triggers of the pulses expansion of the Turing machine let's use the first one for example very nice let's send the signals to the oscillator so we'll take the first four signals one two three and four let's send the oscillators to amalgam so we will have two stereo signals and now let's see how the different uh, ring modulation modes sound like. So let's send this to the mixer. Let's lock also a nice sequence. So we have one, two, three, four ring modulation modes. Let's start with the first one. We have quadrant that will change, um, th those are the two parameters, the first one quadrant will change um, from AM amplitude modulation to um, ring modulation. And we have also the pulse width modulation for the X signal. <laughs> Very cool. Let's see the second mode. Oh, this is harsh. We have um, ring modulation with folding. So here we can fold the X signal. Here we can fold the Y. Then we have another one which uh, will fold both of them together and will also blend an X or logic between them. Oh yeah. Oh man. And we have another one which is a diode ring modulation. We have two parameters um, and they will emulate the sound of the original hardware diode ring modulation circuit. Okay, I kind of like this one here with the um, XO blend. So let's use this mode, but modulate uh, a few things. So let's use stages or the segment generator um, from audible instruments. Let's uh, turn all the segments to LFOs by clicking this button here, clicking and holding it for one second until this uh, green light blinks. So now we will have six LFOs, which is nice. Okay, now let's modulate the phase distortion of the oscillators first. So I will take, let's lower one, two, three, four, let's lower the frequency of the LFOs and send this to the phase distortion CV inputs. Already we have some movement. Let's also send this um, to the folding of amalgam. I have another LFO. Let's do this. Very nice. Cool. Now we can also cross modulate the last two LFOs. So let's modulate um, the frequency of this LFO with the one before it. I will just do something like this. Let's take this all the way down. And this we will use to modulate the XOR blend. Oh yeah. Very cool. Now let's, let's uh, use the logic outputs of both sections um, to add some percussive elements. Let's add the quad VCA from AS. Let's take the volume all the way up. And we need also four, or I will want, we want also four AD envelopes. These ones are from Bog Audio, one, two, three, four, attack decay envelope generators. Let's send the logic gate outputs to the VCA. Let's say one, two, three, and four. 
very nice and the AD envelopes to modulate the VCA one two three and four and as a trigger for the envelope generators we will use uh, some more triggers from the pulses expansion so let's use the third one let's use the fifth the number six or the sixth <laughs> and the seventh very nice let's um, send this also to the mixer let's mute for a second the main voice attack all the way down so we have something nice and percussive and let's play a bit with the decay oh yeah Oh yes. Huh. Okay, very nice. Let's have a look now at the uh, um, next mode, mini maxi which will output the maximum and minimum values between X and Y. We can crossfade between the minimum and maximum and also introduce the difference, um, the difference between them. So let's use this mode to create another sequence. We need another ML gam. I will just duplicate this one here and change it to mini maxi. Let's turn the DC mode on because we will want to use the voltage coming out of the tuning machine. And also the one that's coming out from the volts expansion. Let's change the values here a bit. Something like this. And this will go to the Y section. Now let's add another quantum. I will just duplicate this one here. And in this case, both Z outputs will be the same. Because again, we have only the L inputs connected or the left inputs. So let's send one of the Z outputs to quantum. And as our voice, we will use the FM operator from Borg Audio, send the signal from Quantum to the oscillator, and let's see how this sounds like, how this mode sounds like. I will just mute all the other voices. Okay. So now we have to the left the minimum values of both of the signals, and to the right the maximum. You can hear also that the pitch is uh, higher. We can also um, raise and lower the pitch with the gain controls. Lower gain, the pitch will be lower. Higher gain, higher pitch. And we can also set this to the center, for example. Or fade between them, this will also do. And again, introduce the difference between them. to get different results. So now, basically, we have another sequence derived from the Turing machine. Now, another cool thing we can do is use the pulses and outputs of MLGAM to generate gates. So let's add a scope for a second and see this. So now, from this output, we will have gates, which is cool. And of course, when we change the parameters, we will get different results also. And from the second output, we will get again different results. Okay, very cool. So Let's do something like this. Let's activate the level envelope of the oscillator. Let's take the sustain all the way down. So now this oscillator expects a gate. Um, so let's use actually one of the pulses outputs to generate a gate.
Now you can hear that there are sort of pitch tails between the actual notes. So let's use the sample and hold section of kinks or uh, utilities, again, audible instruments. Um, we will send the signal from quantum first to the sample and hold section, to the input of the sample and hold. So this signal will be sampled, but only according to the gates, we will also, um, we send also to the oscillator. Very nice. So now, only when um, the oscillator is receiving a gate, also the sample and hold is receiving a gate, so there will be a change in pitch only when the oscillator is being triggered. Let's send this to the volt per octave input. It will sound something like this. And again, we can change the parameters. Oh, this is not what I wanted to do. Let's do something like this. We can also change here, unlock the sequence, unlock it again, get different results, modulate everything. This we will do also in a second. Now let's use the delay from Hora. And this delay is also in a half reverse mode, which will play the original signal first and then play it reversed. So let's send the oscillator first through the delay to the input. And let's see, let's send this now to the mixer, see how it sounds like, let's make a bit more feedback. So, gain all the way up, balance, time, oh yeah. So now we have the original signal, or the original audio, and, uh, and the reversed version of it. Let's add another FM operator, and another delay, and another kinks, or utilities. This time, let's use also the pitch tools module from 21 kilohertz. This one here. Very nice. Um, let's send the signal from quantum first to uh, the pitch tools module. Raise the pitch by seven semitones, then send it to the input of the sample and hold section of kinks. So now this will be the sampled signal. Let's trigger um, kinks with uh, different pulses output. Let's just see that it's moving here. Very nice. Okay. So now again, we have a different trigger, a different pitch. Very cool. Let's send this to the oscillator. Let's do something like this first. And again, use the same gates also to drive the oscillator. This will go to the delay, from the delay to the mixer. Oh yeah. And again, different results. Let's modulate uh, both parameters, actually stack them all the way to the left and use LF two LFOs from stages to modulate everything, something like this. Oh yes. Let's see how it sounds like with everything else. Very cool. Yes. Lots of movement. Okay, so let's move on to the next modes. Okay, so the next two modes are signal switch. In these modes, we have a threshold point. Now the signals are also being half rectified and each time they cross this uh, threshold, they switch. And in the second signal switch mode, they switch also between zero, so no signal. And let's add some voices and see how this sounds like. We will add two palm loop oscillators. 
Again, 21 kilohertz, one and two. Tune them one octave down, and one of them to be seven semitones higher in pitch. Now let's send them to um, Amalgam. Let's use, for example, here a um, sawtooth wave and a square wave. This one will be um, one octave lower. Here, let's do the same. Let's send this to the mixer and see how this sounds like. Oh, 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 this is nice. So let's uh, set the threshold. And now you can see they go above this threshold and they switch. And in the second one, they will switch also. Oh yes. Wow, nice. Very nice. Now we can also use the logic gates of the Z section. Oh yeah, to add even more grit. Oh yes. Oh baby. Okay, so let's really create a nice bass part. I will add a four channel mixer from, uh, from AS. Let's send the Z outputs and the logic outputs to the mixer. Let's pan the voices a bit left, right, a bit left, a bit right. Let's send this to the main mixer. Now let's modulate also the parameters of Amalgam. So we will use um, brains from the geodesics collection. Let's just change this to the dark matter. Let's trigger it with a multiplied clock, a clock multiplied by four. This will go to the upper section of brains and modulate the midpoint and the threshold. Let's see, let's take them to the center. Oh yeah. Okay, already we have some movement. Let's use also the filter um, from Blemsoff, the F35. So let's uh, send the mixer first to this um, filter, add some drive, some resonance, open the cutoff a bit. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Let's modulate also the frequency, the cutoff frequency, again with the brains, and the resonance also. Oh yeah! Add some gain. Let's see how the first signal switch mode sounds like. It's a bit more mellow. I like this one more. Okay, so let's move on to the next mode. Um, X fade. In this mode, by using the X mode parameter, we can fade between the two signals and with the bias knob, we can offset the fade amount. So let's add another amalgam. I will duplicate this one. Let's change its mode to X fade. Very nice. Now we will use another palm loop oscillator. Let's do this here down like this. Another palm loop oscillator. And let's take its octave one up. Very nice. Send four waveforms to Amalgam. So let's use a sawtooth wave, a square wave, a sine wave, and a triangle wave. Again, those outputs here, um, the lower outputs will be also one octave lower. And let's see how this sounds like. Let's see how this sounds like. I will just mute the bass part. Okay, so now to the left we have one voice, to the right we have the other one. You can uh, crossfade between them and also set a nice offset. Okay, very nice. So let's add again a four channel mixer. Um, again from AS. Let's send the Z outputs to the mixer. 
and also the pulses outputs let's use this here and this nice let's pen them a bit something like this and let's create a short sequence by using constants from ml um, which will output constant voltage instead of semitones and also the fundamental sequential switch the second one very nice this will act as our sequencer let's leave the first input um, empty and use the plus 5 plus 7 and plus 12 um, semitones clock the sequential switch with a divided clock every clock divided by 10 let's also use the slew limiter from bog audio this time and um, this will add a sort of a glide to the pitch let's send the signal to the slew limiter and then to the oscillator let's see how this sounds like i will send this mixer to the main mixer oh yeah Let's have longer rise and fall times, longer glide. Oh yes, now we can also add some uh, delay. I will use the dual delay from MSM, again change the skin. Um, let's set the mixer to the delay first um, and then to the main mixer. Let's raise the levels all the way up. A and B. Let's sync it also with our main clock and change the times, raise the feedback. Oh yes. And let's modulate also the delay times um, by using brains but I will want a smaller range so what we can do, I will zoom in a bit, what we can do, we can activate the range function of the lower brains and this will make sure that on the left side we will have negative positive 1 volt, not um, uh, anything bigger than that. So let's clock, um, let's clock the lower brains with again with a divided clock, divided by 10 and let's send two outputs to modulate the delay time. And let's have a look. So they change and we get this nice effect. Very nice. Let's zoom out again. Save this patch. Okay, now let's modulate also the bias and X mode of uh, ML game with the upper brains. So let's see, let's put them again in the center, more or less, and then use two more outputs of brains. So we get this nice effect again, like the bass. Oh yes! Very nice. Okay, let's move on to the next mode. The next mode is flip flop, which will randomly switch between the signals whenever they cross again a certain threshold. And we can also change the balance with the favor knob. So let's use this mode for manipulating uh, control voltage. Let's add another amalgam. Change, let's change it to flip flop. Very nice. Let's turn again on the DC option because we want to use a control voltage. Let's use two LFOs from Bog Audio. One, two. Very nice. Let's set them to slow and push the offset all the way up. So we have Opalach. So we have a unipolar signal. Very nice. Now let's send two waveforms from each um, oscillator, from each LFO to amalgam. So here I will use a sine wave and let's say a sawtooth wave and here a square wave and a triangle wave i can also modulate the pulse width of this square wave with the uh, um, other lfo so let's do this something like this let's see on the scope shortly or quickly how it will look like 
So we will have two pretty interesting waveforms like you can see here. And we can change also the frequency here and get even more variation. Something like this or something like this. Very cool. Okay, so now let's use two kinks or again utilities from Audible instruments. And we will use kinks um, to sample both outputs. So let's take the Z outputs to the input of the sample and hold um, section of kinks. And let's use the two um, or two of the pulses outputs to trigger kinks. So let's see, let's use this for example, or the other one, something more quick, let's say. Okay, this will work nice. And let's use the second one to trigger the second sample and hold. Later we can see how it sounds like and change the settings. Now let's also quantize those signals with two quantizers from JW. Let's send the signals to the quantizers. And as our voices we will use, I will put it here, again two FM operators. Very cool. Let's send the signals from the quantizers to the FM operators. Okay, and also use the same gates to trigger them. So I will uh, turn the level envelope on and use the same gates I'm using to trigger the sample and hold to trigger the oscillators. Sustain all the way down, quick attack, something like this. And let's see how this sounds like. Watch your ears, it can be a bit high or the pitch can be a bit high. So let's have a listen, I will just mute everything else. Yes, okay, so now by turning the gain down, I can take also the pitch down or the range, let's say. And we can also change the Oh, yes. Oh yes, we can also use brains uh, to modulate the feedback amount of the FM operators. But first of all, uh, because the feedback amount receives also, all, um, only positive voltage, let's send um, the brains signal to the rectifier of the utilities or kinks, so we get just positive values. So let's take two signals from brains, from the upper brains and take the rectified signal out to the feedback amount. Raise the feedback. So now we have uh, approximately the same um, effect we have with the bass. Let's have a listen together. Oh yes. We can modulate also the favor, again with brains, and the threshold, change the settings of the LFOs. Okay, very nice. So let's start another patch and check out the next modes. Okay, so the next mode is alpha PWM, which will multiply the Y signal with the pulse shaped X signal. And by using the pulses knob, we can increase the number of pulses. And with the pulse width knob, we can change their pulse width. Let's look at this on the scope for a second and listen to how it sounds like. So I will add again two LFOs and the scope. Let's send the LFOs to amalgam and the output to the scope. Very nice, change a bit the frequency, something like this. Okay, already we have a nice weird waveform. Now I can add pulses. You can see this also on the scope. 
let's go even closer you can see this and I can change the pulse width and I can add even more and change the waveform to be something nice and crazy let's send this to the mixer for a second see how it sounds like watch your ears so here I can add pulses change the pulse width okay very nice let's get rid of the LFOs so let's start adding some voices. We'll use four basal oscillators from Vult. One, two, three, four. Let's send them to Amalgam. One, two, three, and four. Very nice. Let's already add a four channel um, mixer. Oh, not this is what I wanted. I wanted this one. Very cool. Send the Z outputs, the main outputs to the mixer and also two pulses outputs let's say this here and this one let's pan the voices again just a bit and let's see already how this sounds like oh yeah let's change also a bit the oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah the octaves here Okay, now I will want to soften the sound a bit. So let's use Freak, also from Vault. Now, this is a commercial module, but it has a really nice feature that allows us to separate the left channel from the right one and get a nice stereo effect. So let's first change the mode to Tangents. Um, in Freak, we have all the different filters from Vault. So Tangents will be the one that we will use now. Let's add also the individual settings on. So now the, uh, the channels will be separated. Send the signal from the mixer to Freak and from Freak to the mixer again, to the main mixer. See how this sounds like. A bit more resonance. Oh yeah. Now let's start modulating some stuff by using the ATFO from Bog Audio. Let's set it to slow, offset all the way up, turn the frequency a bit down. Let's start modulating the oscillators first. One, let's say two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight fits perfectly. Turn on the attenuators or attenuverters in this case. Oh yes, already we have something moving. Let's also modulate both inputs or CV inputs of the uh, filter and get this nice stereo effect. Let's use this here and this. Very cool. Now also the parameters of Amalgam or Amalgam we can modulate something like this. So we have a nice drone. We can make this even slower. Let's add also a kick. I will use Tremor also from Volt. Let's um, trigger it with our main clock, send it to the mixer, I have here a mono channel. Oh yeah, a bit less band. Oh yes. Now what I want to do is uh, sidechain this drone with the kick. So let's send the signals from Freak to a VCA. Turn the volume all the way up. Let's do something like this, very cool. And we will use the DADSR envelope generator from Bog Audio. This module um, has an inverted output, so we can duck the drone signal. And um, we will trigger this envelope generator with the same trigger um, the kick is receiving, and send the inverted output to modulate the VCA. Let's take the uh, tech all the way down, sustain all the way down, 
And with the decay now we can set the sound we want. Something like this. Oh yes, let's also sidechain a hi-hat. I will add a VCA, send the hi-hat to the VCA, then to the mixer. Let's trigger it with a multiplied clock, every clock multiplied by four. Turn the level all the way up, maybe resonance all the way up also, a bit more decay. And now we can modulate this VCA also with the same inverted envelope. Let's modulate the decay also of the uh, hi-hat again with the 84. Open that inverter. So we have even more movement. So it closes and opens and it's uh, side-chained. Save this patch. Very nice, so we have some movement going on, now the, uh, the kick is also on. Now the last seven modes are somehow similar. Um, the Y and X signals are converted into 32 bits, so 32 segments let's say, and all sorts of processing are being done on those bits, uh, on those segments like AND logic, XOR logic, switching between them and so on. So let's add another amalgam. I will duplicate this one here. Let's change its mode to the first um, bit mode. And for this, let's use Interzone, also from Valley, which is a very powerful synth module. Let's just offset the VCA with a dual um, attenuverter from Befaco. So I will send the uh, attenuverter to the VCA and push the offset all the way up. So we don't um, uh, need to trigger its envelope for now, and let's have a listen to everything. So I will send um, four different waves. I will send the main output, and we have three more waves here. Sawtooth, pulse, and sub-oscillator. Let's send this to the mixer and see how this uh, mode or, or those modes sound like. I will just mute everything else but this. Okay. So this is the first bit mode. Bit depth, bit crash. Oh yes. Second one. Oh yeah. Very harsh sounding, but still nice. Oh yeah. Bit glitch. Oh, with jitter. We can add some noise here, we can turn this into noise. Two more. Oh yeah. And the last one. Okay, let's see. Let's take this down for now. Now let's create a sequence for interzone. I will get rid of the uh, attenuverter. Let's close again the VCA here. And for this, I will use Entropia from the Geodesics collection once more. Let's set a seven step sequence. Clock it with a multiplied clock. Every clock multiplied by four again. The same clock we are using for the hi hat. Let's change the values of the blue sequence, the inner circle. And for this yellow sequence, we will use random voltage. Just change the mode here. And only on a few steps. So let's say uh, the second step, the fifth, and the seventh. And this one here. Let's change also the probability just for those steps. And change the macro state to add. So the uh, voltages from both sequences will be added together. Let's quantize also this um, signal to a scale and send this voltage to interzone. Very cool. We will also use the gate output of quantum to trigger interzone. Now I will want to have this voice nice and plucky. So let's add the quad VCA again, AS. Turn the levels all the way up. Very nice. And again, the AD envelope generator from Bog Audio. 
Let's send the Z outputs from MLGAM to the VCA and also both logic outputs of the Z section. This can go already to the mixer, let's see how it sounds like. Oh yes, <laughs> Oh, very cool, very cool. Now, the envelope generator will modulate the VCA and it will receive a trigger from Quantum. Take all the way down, Decay. Oh yes. Very cool. Now what we can do, we can set the LFO of Interzone to Sample and Hold. Let's turn the frequency a bit up and use this sample and hold to modulate the parameters of amalgam. So we get some more movement. And let's set also another output from amalgam, let's say the XO logic here for the X section, back to interzone to the external input, turn the external input a bit up. Now this will create a nice uh, feedback loop sending the signal to Amalgam and back to Interzone and back to Amalgam again and so on. So it has a nice effect to it. Let's change the sound of Interzone also a bit. Let's um, add this, the, the pulse wave, pulse width modulation a bit with the sample and hold, sub oscillator. Let's see, one octave up. No, let's turn the jitter modulation a bit down. And let's see how it sounds like actually with different uh, beat modes. See what we like best. This is nice. Okay, this one. Again, one octave up. Okay, let's see how it sounds like with the other voices. Kick. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe you can also modulate the attack with the sample and hold. <laughs> Very cool. Change the gain settings a bit. Very nice. Okay guys, that was it. This was Amalgam from Valley. Like always, there will be a link in the description to the patches we've built today so you can take a closer look if you wish. Go experiment with this module and have fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. And have a good one.